15 things Americans don't know about the United States of America. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome back. This video is not going to be like any other video you've seen about the US. We're going to look at some of the things that as an American you might not notice about your country. This video is fact driven, which means this is not our personal opinion. These are stats and information that have been collected from academic studies and international research, so we're not making this stuff up. Alux.com has a wide audience in the US. It's actually our main audience, and we know the bulk of our community resides there. As Aluxers, we look at the world differently. We look at it as it is, not as we would like it to be. You guys are watching our videos because of that, and we trust that everything you'll learn in this video will help you gain a deeper understanding of the world we're living in on a global scale. We expect this video to be not that well received, because it breaks down some of the illusions maybe some of us have encountered over the years. There's a lot of room for improvement worldwide, and we hope that this video will be the spark that makes Alux community try to change it for the better. If you believe you are easily triggered and have no desire to look at the world differently, please leave this video right now. We have a bunch of other amazing videos that cover regular luxury topics, which you are more than welcome to watch. We've never crammed so many facts in one video before. With that said, here are at least 15 things Americans might not know about the United States of America. Number 1. The United States is no longer the largest economy in the world. According to the International Monetary Fund, China overtook the U.S. as the largest economy since 2014. This has to do with the labor force along with manufacturing being too expensive to be done in the country and also the fact that the taxes in the U.S. are pretty high. Although the U.S. has shifted from an industrial economy to a service and technology one, this is by no means enough to keep up with other fastly growing economies. Because both the taxes and production costs are high, the most valuable companies in the U.S. choose to move overseas. For example, Apple is manufacturing in China and using its subsidiary in Ireland to pay taxes there because it's cheaper. The taxes paid by Apple, Google, Microsoft don't enter the U.S. economy. For example, in 2010, General Electric made over $14 billion in profit but ended up paying $0 in taxes in the U.S. We have a video on the countries with the most billionaires in the world, and by the end of the year, China will overtake the U.S. in that department also. They're getting a new billionaire every five days, and a lot of the international investments that were supposed to go into the U.S. markets are now redirected there, further fueling the gap. Number 2. The United States is responsible for one of the largest genocides in world history. Numerous historical documents show that when the original settlers came to America, the population of native Indians across the continent was between 50 and 100 million. In just a few hundred years, almost all of them were wiped out. Many historians estimate the lower number of Indian deaths to be around 20 million, and on the higher end, up to 98 million. That's 10 times more than Hitler's Holocaust. When the settlers came in, they brought with them more developed technology, more firepower, and three of the deadliest biological weapons of that time, smallpox, influenza, and bubonic plague. While the Europeans were already treating these three, the Indians were not given access to medicine. They didn't stand a chance. By the 19th century, only a few hundred thousand native Indians were still alive. Something interesting we found when doing our research is that before the Holocaust, Hitler gave the US and many other nations the option to take in Jewish refugees. They all refused. Number 3. The United States was one of the last countries on earth to abolish slavery. In December 1865, the U.S. finally abolished slavery. Great news! 
What about the rest of the world? It turns out Russia did it 150 years before the US in 1723, China in 1725, Portugal in 1761, 1790 in Denmark and Norway, 1793 in Canada, and one year later, France. In the early 1800s, not only did the British figure out slavery is a bad thing, they even started paying other countries to cease their slave trade. The only countries that took longer than the US to abolish slavery were their remote colonies and the Middle East. A quick fact we wanted to slip in. America's first documented slave owner was a black man. Number 4. America is not the greatest country in the world. The US ranks 14th in education, 44th in healthcare, 35th in math, 15th in literacy, 22nd in science, 49th in life expectancy, 14th in happiness, 19th in internet connection, 47th in press freedom, 89th in child vaccination, and we'll stop there. These numbers are very easy to fact check for yourself. But wait, Alux, America can't be that bad. At the end of the day, America's always number one, right? Okay, let's have a look. Number five, America is leading the world in the number of people in prisons. There are an estimated nine million people in prisons around the world. A quarter of all of them are in the US. America is number one in energy consumption per individual. The average American consumes three times more energy than the average European and 15 to 20 times the average Indian or Chinese. The US is also the country that did the most damage to the ozone layer causing global warming. Only recently China overtook the US as the main polluter in the world, but the US has been at it for a lot longer than China and is still massively polluting the environment. America is also leading obesity, self-esteem, ignorance on what is happening around the world, people who believe that angels are real and military spending. We'll talk about the military later on in this video. Number 6. Four Earth-sized planets would be required to sustain the level of consumption of the United States. The average American consumes around 35 tons of food during his lifetime. That's 80 times more than the average human needs. The US is the largest food waster in the world and also the largest water consumer in the world. This is a little weird considering the fact that 6% of the population say they never bathe and because of their massive water consumption, almost half of the US is abnormally dry or officially in a drought. You can fact check that. Also a quarter of all of the energy in the world is consumed by the US every year. Let's take a look at the people in prisons. Number 7. At least 1 in 25 people sentenced to the death penalty in the US is innocent. Over 60% of people in prison can't read. Over 90% of the people in jail are blacks or Hispanics, and it costs the US over $2.3 million to keep one prisoner in Guantanamo. Here's something we weren't expecting. Police killed twice as many whites than black people in 2015, and it wasn't an odd year but African Americans are twice as likely to be shot than white folks. Number 8. Interracial marriage was banned up to 50 years ago, and same-sex marriage was just recently legalized. This is just crazy. Before 1967, you couldn't get married if you belonged to a different race than your partner, which means that when your parents were born or when your grandparents were of your age, you couldn't get married to the person you loved because of their skin tone. Also, there are 17 other countries that didn't take as long as the US to acknowledge same-sex marriages. Number 9. There are more shopping malls than high schools in the US. Not to mention that the cost of education increased five times in the last 30 years, way beyond the cost of living, inflation, and other economic indexes. Number 10. During the Prohibition years, the government actively added poison to alcohol reserves,
killing over 10,000 people in the process. Until 1933, the government was strongly against alcohol consumption. Today, every hour, at least one person is killed by a drunk driver in the U.S. Number 11. There are at least 100 people in the U.S. named LOL. But that's not all. Last year, we've seen a massive increase in the number of babies named after Instagram filters. The top picks were Valencia, Ludwig, Amaro, and Reyes. But maybe baby names should be the least of your worries, as it costs $245,000 to raise a child in the U.S. before college. Number 12. If you live in the U.S., you now have a 50% chance of getting cancer before you die. One in five deaths every year is caused by smoking. You are twice as likely to commit suicide than being killed by someone, and medical errors are the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. Number 13. There are more Americans on Facebook right now than the number of people who voted in this election. Number 14. As of October 18, 2016, there have been a total of 2,386 U.S. military deaths in the war in Afghanistan. The number of civilians killed in this process is around 30,000. The U.S. loves war because it's been incredibly profitable for the country. One in every five dollars you pay in taxes goes to the army in one form or another. The U.S. has the highest military spending in the world, and it leveraged that to gain access to valuable commodities like oil. For example, the Caspian Sea region has potentially the world's largest oil reserves. Afghanistan is strategically situated between the Caspian and the markets of the Indian subcontinent and East Asia. Now you might figure out for yourself why the price of oil at the gas station in the U.S. is twice, if not three times cheaper than in Europe. Also, the Afghan war is the longest in U.S. history. Number 15. The United States is the only country in history of the world to ever use an atomic bomb, and that was against a non-atomic country, Japan. Approximately 250,000 people have been killed in Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined. There are a ton more facts and incredible information we've discovered while researching for this video, but if we were to put it all together, we would end up with an hour-long documentary. We'll link to as many sources as possible in the description of this video. After hearing all of this, we wanted to know, does this information change the way you perceive the United States? We'd like to hear from both US citizens and folks from other countries. As always, we'll be around in the comments. We know it's been a longer one than usual, but occasionally, we like to go deeper than the average in order for you guys to get some concrete value out of these videos, not just for entertainment purposes. Once again, this is not a video bashing the US, but shining some light on some less known facts. If you believe more people should know these, please share this video with someone who will find it interesting. Oh, you're still here? Even after this really long video? Okay, here's something special we reserved only for the truest Aluxers. In 1893, an amendment was proposed to rename the U.S. as the United States of the Earth. What do you think about that, Aluxers? Now please like this video because we have a feeling that there are going to be a lot of downvotes from folks who don't like to be told their team is no longer winning. Thank you for your support.